Now to a local 12 exclusive on the great lengths a man went to to help his wife and how they are paying off. We first introduced you to the thorns back in December. Kelly desperately needed a kidney. Well, tonight, thanks in part to her husband's efforts and our story, she found a match. Alexa Helwig talked to the donor who will change Kelly's life. It all started right here. Aaron Thorne standing outside a Hamilton shopping center last December with this big sign. He wanted people to know his wife Kelly needed a kidney, and this was the only way he knew how. What a roller coaster ride. I mean, it's just been uh, amazing, quite honestly, to see uh, people from all around the world reaching out and saying we care. Kelly went into renal failure last September. She has struggled through many complications over the past year, but her family never stopped working toward the goal. He has been my rock, um, has been there taking care of me despite his health issues. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get through all of this without him for sure. About a year later, Kelly picked up a phone call from Christ Hospital. Her doctor said they found a match. It was a lady in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania um, that had come forward and she had done all the tests and passed everything with flying colors. Little did they know Cheyenne Frappier had been following Kelly's journey on social media for months. She first saw the story on her local news in Pittsburgh. I shared it um, on Facebook too, but something about their story just was so close to me. The 26 year old lost her dad to heart disease and mom to brain cancer. She made the brave choice to get tested and doctors told her she was Kelly's perfect match. My heart was really in it for Aaron, seeing him be so devoted to helping his wife get that kidney. It's a gift that Kelly and her family say they'll never be able to repay. I don't even know how to thank you, but I really honestly do and appreciate uh, you coming forward and helping me. In Hamilton, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Kelly's doctors are waiting for her broken ankle to heal. Now the hope is to schedule the transplant surgery for sometime next month. Oh, we wish them all well. Okay, wipe away the tears. And it's, now <laughs> well, that's a, that's your happy tears. It it's great, to, it's great to end the week on such a high note. We needed it. And, uh, we <laughs>